Each day, try it again. Every new poem is an experiment that wants to explode. Toss the ingredients about like a dainty anarchist. Here's a bit of dynamite from a childhood vacation. Some anger at the state of the nation. Some salt for my wounds. Some sugar for my sweet truth. Making mining for memories and finding none to spare. All I do is stare. I gaze out the window at a piss-yellow building as the blue and cloudy sky chatters like clattering chains on the floor of a mausoleum scattered with soggy veins. I am purposefully lost in my whiskers, frisky in my artful riskiness or risky artfulness, frustrated by the empty sifting of these shifting, sand-drifting words, beached like a condom left by a now-burned-out bonfire on a cold beach out of reach. What a bitch! What a bitch when the poem won't come and the looming judge inside begins his contemptuous asides. Despair in the air of my brain, snorting the pain of self-disgust and the sure knowledge that the business of making is completely insane. And why can't we all get jobs that we can keep? It is not so easy to get a job that you can keep. Not if you give a rat's ass for poetry. Me, I keep running out of positions, scandalized by intuitions too readily drip to drip drying colleagues, those crusty skeletons with dusty teeth. And sooner or later, always somebody says, are you sure that you really belong? Not that there's anything wrong. Always the same song. Not that there's anything wrong with us, but this nagging distress that insists if we do anything, anything at all, but make poetry and art good or bad, our time is wasted in stillness, unspringing like some filthy bas bastard stuffed a frog with buckshot. I sit and stare out the window and wait for the explosive poem to shout that some of us are loaded guns. Better watch out.